Okay guys, I've got a Whirlpool washer, excellent condition, inside and out, it's been uh, thoroughly worked through, 28 point inspection on the washer, 22 point inspection on the dryer, make sure everything works great, and then I do these videos here so that you know, you get it home, plug it in, everything's going to work good. I've got a real heavy load, maybe even a little too heavy, but uh, I packed it full, and I always do a heavy load to test just to make sure everything works good, and then I run a few loads through it, but uh, it's in the wash cycle right now. As you can see, it's moving real well. Agitator's working real good. I'm going to let it run through its cycle. I'm going to let you listen to the spin cycle at the end. The most important thing is that you know that uh, sounds good when it's spinning. It's nice and level. It's not off balance or making any weird noises or anything like that. So I'm also going to show you the dryer. Okay, and while we're waiting on that washer there to finish up, I'm letting this heat up real quick. I'm going to go ahead and show you that it is, in fact, heating like it's supposed to. And I will move the clothes over so you can hear it with a full load of wet clothes. It's important to hear that when it's loaded down, that it sounds good. There's no weird noises, not off balance or anything like that. So, But we'll get the heating part out of the way real quick. So my little red dot gives surface temperature or whatever it's shining on. So we'll open this up here. Just make sure I got my heat up. And I do. Shoot it right in there. Heating element tube. You can see plenty of heat. Light works good. Now the inside temperature will get between 100 and 195 depending on what you have your heat set to. But this tube here, the heating element is directly below it and the heat comes right out of that tube. So it can get really hot inside this portion, but then the inside of your dryer doesn't actually get that hot. So I always note that because uh, this can get up to about 300 degrees right behind this grill here. And that's fine, it's supposed to be like that. So uh, Otherwise nice and clean as you can see. And we'll let this washer finish up here and you'll get to hear this dryer going fully loaded too. Okay, and we are on that high spin cycle. It's a nice smooth operation. And I'm gonna go ahead and lift up the lid and show you that it is in fact spinning nice and fast. You're not really supposed to do that or interrupt the cycle at all. There's a safety switch to so shut it down. So, there you go, now you can see it is moving nice and fast. It'll get started back up. Reason you don't want to do that is because when you interrupt the spin cycle like that, sometimes your clothes won't come out quite as light as they're supposed to. So uh, it's recommended in the owner's manual not to do that. But for testing purposes, I do it. Just kind of show everybody it's working like it's supposed to. So I'm gonna let that finish up. We'll move those over to the dryer. All right, now I've got those clothes pulled out of there. I've got them loaded over here into the dryer where well, you can hear it as you can hear sounds great nice smooth operation so now you know you get these guys get them home plug them in everything's gonna work like they're supposed to if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Otherwise, we'll get these listed up for sale, and I do appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Y'all have a great day. Thanks.